Stanford University. What you are looking at is the first step towards creating artificial skin. You can't see it, but this area here is comprised of millions of very, very small pyramids. Those little pyramids of rubber encased in this glass sandwich show an artificial skin will be able to feel weight and pressure. Yes, we have uh, been successful uh, in demonstrating uh, that uh, we can uh, use uh, these devices to measure pressure at extremely high sensitivity. Uh, for example, we can measure a, uh, the weight of uh, a um, uh, very small um, fly. In the lab, a butterfly is used to demonstrate. So when we put the butterfly on the sensor, we get this tremendous spike indicating uh, the butterfly is on top of the sensor and uh, it's, the sensor is reading the actual weight placed on the sensor. Uh, and then if you take it off, you get a very good uh, reduction in the signal, which means that there's a very good signal to noise ratio. Developing the skin sensitivity is expected to lead to some very practical day-to-day -day uses. Biomedical applications, prosthetic applications, robots in future will have to collect tactile information about their environment. This could be a major step towards uh, artificial skin in which uh, burn patients, for example, could uh, get a replacement skin. A skin so sensitive it can feel a breath of air or a drop of water. A drop of water, yes, sure. Artificial skin, starting with a sensor and a butterfly. For the Stanford News Service, I'm Jack Hubbard. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.